here on Welcome to Sound K. Today we have a very, very special guest. We have Doktu in the studio. Welcome! Hello! Hello, who's listening and watching Sound K right now? This is Noktu. I'm going to be here with you for an hour. Uh, so stay with us, stick with us, don't go anywhere. Oh, do I hear a little bit of an English accent? Uh, if you mean like English accent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. What? Okay, wait. Okay, we'll get into that a little later. But welcome to Sound K today. Um, is it your first time on Arirang Radio? Uh, yeah, like f- first time ever in like broadcast. <gasps> How do you feel? How are you feeling? It feels like just like recording in a studio. Oh. <laughs> so it feels familiar? Yeah, but not sure when I'm going to sing. <laughs> oh no, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Um, we have someone on the YouTube chat, Fabulous Ivly says, Doktu, 오늘 머리 예쁘다, yay! 고마워요. <laughs> she said his hair looks very nice today. Okay, so it's his first time on radio broadcast, and I hope he'll feel at home, and I hope he'll feel comfortable here. Um, are you a fan of, like, TV shows? Do you ever want to go out on, like, TV broadcast shows? Uh, actually, like, um, is it okay to speak in Korean from yeah, now? Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'll do what's comfortable for you. Uh, 저는... 좋아하는 방송 되게 많지만, mm-hmm. 뉴스만 나오면... 나오지만 않으면 되겠다라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. 뉴스만 안 나오면 네. 모든 거다 괜찮아요. 그렇죠. 아 뉴스 아 녹두 씨가 뉴스에 나오면 그렇죠. 안 된다고. <웃음> 좋은 걸로 나올 수도 있잖아요. 아 그건 그런데. 막막뭐 유튜브 뭐 조회수가 막 아, 네. 폭발했다 막 이런 걸로 나오면 좋잖아요. 보, 보통 좋은 걸로 안 나오더라고요. <웃음> <웃음> he said he would love to be on anything besides the news because. When you appear on the news, it's usually for something that's negative. Um, hopefully, he won't appear on the news for anything like that anytime soon. Or I mean, ever. I mean, ever. <laughs> Not anytime soon. Okay, so yes, we heard a little bit of a uh, British accent. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, I mean, are you British? I am like pure Korean. Mm-hmm. But I studied in Liverpool. Liverpool. It's not Liverpool. It's Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. They yeah. actually say that. Yeah, because um, the accent called a Scouse, mm-hmm. and the Scouse accent is like, it sounds like um, shape of Nike. Oh, it's like shoom. Yeah. Exactly. Oh wow. So like, and if I say Arirang Radio, uh-huh. say Arirang Radio. <laughs> That's the kind of accent <laughs> really? of Liverpool. Arirang Radio? <laughs> it sounds like you're singing. Oh my god, I should do that from now on. You guys are tuning into Arirang Radio. <laughs> How would you say Ashley then in that accent? Oh, uh, actually, there there's a friend called Ashley in mm-hmm. the, back in Liverpool. They, yeah. Uh, she, I called her. It's like, hey, Ashley, you're right. Oh my god, <laughs> this accent is legit. Oh my god, you sound like a pure British person. Not that I know, you know, but... <laughs> Wow, this is legit. I mean, how long were you in Britain for? Uh, about f- five years, like one one year in London and four years in Liverpool to study music. Study music. Yeah. Wow. So did you know how to speak English before you went to England? Uh, actually, I was thinking that I'm pretty good at English. Mm-hmm. But when I got there, like, wow, I really... <laughs> talking <don't> about like... <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about um you're clueless no like I, I used to work in a pub oh in, in London uh-huh. one guy just just walked into the pub and he he, he said like can I have a bottle of water <laughs> Pardon? can I have a bottle of water Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, I would have done the same. I would have been like, huh? I, mean, I would have probably like copy, try to copy what he said. Oh man. Um, we have a British listener here named Chris, and he says, ah, he's a scouser. What's a scouser? A uh, British accent called scouse. Oh. And Brit- uh, no, Liverpool accent. Uh-huh. And the Liverpool people, Liverpoolian, called scouser. 
Aha, skase. Oh, I'm learning a lot today. Okay, okay. Well, I hope you'll have fun with us. Um, so, yeah, I was asking him a little bit about his experience of living in England for four years. And um, I feel like studying music there, I feel mm -hmm. like the spectrum is so wide. I feel like you'll have so many experiences and you'll probably meet so many different kinds of people and musicians. Um, did you... Did you learn a lot? I mean, I'm sure you learned a lot, but did you love your time at university there? Uh, of course, it did. Like, uh, I didn't really mean to study mm -hmm. in England, but like, but I saw a poster of our university like audition in Korea. Yeah. Oh. And uh -huh. there was Paul McCartney from The Beatles, <gasps> and it was actually like he funded to build the oh, university. Wow. So the, they told me that if you um, graduate uh -huh. the course, then Paul McCartney will come to the graduation and you can ha have a handshake with him. So did you? I did. Oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. He said like, well done. Wow, what an honor. That is insane. And you said you wanted to go to England because you were a fan of a lot of um, mm -hmm. like English artists and musicians. Uh, who are your like favorite musicians? Uh, uh, absolutely. The Beatles and mm -hmm. uh, Oasis, Radiohead, like wow. so many of like British artists like David Bowie, mm -hmm. it's, like, a, lot, a lot of them. Wow. Do you still keep in touch with your friends from back in England? Uh, yes, some of like, I didn't really like, I'm not that um, introverted pe person. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have like, I didn't really have many people, oh. many friends, but like my close friends still, yeah, we still get in touch. They must be so proud of you, seeing you doing music and doing everything here back in Korea. Yeah, like, you know, they use Spotify most of it. Uh -huh. and, I, they saw like, how did you get this many plays? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I mean, because the music is good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are there any friends that you met in university that also are in the music scene now? Uh, Maybe debuted? Uh, he wasn't that close with me, but mm -hmm. there's a British um, singer called Eddie Suleiman. Uh-huh. Oh, I like him. Uh, yeah. Oh, you went to school with him? Yeah, he was my classmate, not like mate mate, but Whoa. he was my classmate. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, he really made me want to visit England now. <laughs> like, I really need to go one day. Um, but yes, I wanted to ask you about your name, Dokdu. Mm -hmm. um, it means mung bean in English, right? Yeah. Why did exactly. you decide to name yourself a mung bean? Uh, so, Dokdu is like... What? When I, um, 제가 이름을 지을 때, mm -hmm. 어, 저희 생각 없이 짓고 싶었어요. Oh. 그래서 어떻게 이름을 지을까 그냥 하다가 집 앞에 있는 시장을 걸어가는데 <웃음> 그 녹두 박스가 이렇게 있는 oh. 거예요. 네. 그래서 어? 녹두 귀여운데 다 저거 해야겠다. 해서 녹두가 되었습니다. Wow, 근데 이름이 진짜 귀여워요. 아. I like it. And I like the way it looks when it's spelled in English. <웃음> like N-O-K-D-U. I like the way that looks. Okay, so how he got the name, he didn't want to put much thought into his stage name. And one day he was going to the mart, on his way to the mart, and in front of it he saw a big box that said 녹두. So there were, it was a box of mung beans, I guess. And he was like, oh my god, that's cute. I'm going to name myself 녹두. And ever since, you've been like, t your Instagram bio says, I am a mung bean. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just, you know, branding yourself as a mung bean. <laughs> Have you ever actually tried mung beans? Oh, as a food? Yeah. Of course, like, nuktu jeon. All right. Yeah. They have nuktu pancakes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's like the most um, common dish made out of nuktu. Yeah, it's um, great with makgeolli. Yes, great with makgeolli, <laughs> rice wine. Okay, so that is how you got your name. Interesting. And um, we actually have like a resume here that we're going to try to fill out. Maybe more like a profile. All right. Um, so when is your date of birth? Uh, 
you don't have to reveal if you don't want to. You can yeah. just tell us your month and day. 7th of October. October 7th. Okay. You're a Sagittarius. Is that Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. What are you, What is your horoscope? Do you know? I, do, do, do you mean of Zodiac? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I have no idea what that is. I don't <laughs> know what it's called in Korean. Okay. And what is your real name? Your real Korean name? Jung Ji Won. Chong Chi Won. Yeah. Oh, Chi Won. Okay. Um, and when is your date of debut? Um, 19th of April mm -hmm. 2018. 2018. Wait, so you just celebrated your three year debut I anniversary? Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Thank you. What did you do? Did you do anything special? Oh, uh, it's kind of stupid. I did quite, quite a stupid thing. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I actually tried to Nokdu Kyugi. Nokdu, you tried to. Actual beans. You tried to raise a mung bean I plant? I did. And you know, when it grew up, it became bean sprout. Yeah. So I tried it, but it was like very old, like three, four years old uh -huh. mung bean, so it didn't really work. Oh, so it just died? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It, yeah, it smelled. That's unfortunate. Oh, it smelled. Yeah, I'm sure it smelled bad. Well, you can always try again. Yeah. Okay. And do you have any hobbies besides music? Uh, I used to box. Box? Boxing? Yeah, boxing. Whoa. But like for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. but I couldn't go to the gym because of the... Oh, Corona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you would take your glasses off for boxing, right? Yeah. Okay. Course. Can you still see well? Uh, not really. But <laughs> I, it's if you when you when you do boxing, uh -huh. you just feel the oh, feel you the body. feel it. You feel <laughs> the punch coming at you. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what would you say your expertise is? Tuki. Uh, music. Boring. Music, yes, <laughs> music, definitely. Do you have any nicknames? I mean, Doktu itself, itself is already a pretty, you know, mm. like pop, I mean, your main nickname, but anything uh, else? Well, I don't like like that much. You but... don't like Noktu? No, 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 no oh. not Noktu, but I don't like this uh, nickname, but some people called me Gomak Namchin. Komak Namchin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I introduced you as the year drum boyfriend in the beginning, too. Why? Is that like too much pressure? Oh, like... uh, it, it is. Yeah, oh. actually. Okay, well, but you are, so you oh, should give you. yourself credit for it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, and what do you think your three charms are? Uh, uh, You're very calm, mm. level headed. Do you ever get angry? Uh, Ages ago. Wow. <laughs> How do you keep yourself so so grounded? Uh, I don't really care about others. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Simple as that. Yeah, just, just don't care. Yeah, okay. Just caring about uh -huh. myself. Just care about yourself. Yeah. Wow. That's that's respectable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. And what else? Um. Uh, voice. Voice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He has a killer voice. And we're actually going to listen to the killer voice right now. I know oh. it's very sudden. Um, we were talking <laughs> about, <you>. like, <laughs> England for, like, half of the segment already. But um, we should listen to your life now. What song did you prepare for us for the first one? First one, uh, One More Joe. It's called Stay With Me mm -hmm. in English. What is this song about? This, song's, it's, this song is about, um, about love. Mm-hmm. But, but not like metro love. Metro love. Not about metro love. What is metro love? It's like, um, we've been together like years. Uh huh. Years. This song is about, I want to be with you mm -hmm. from now on. I want to, um, I want to be like, I want to be together with you. So it's like new love. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so we shall listen to that. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want a cup, sip of water? Water? You want a sip of water? Water. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you a minute. A minute. Okay, I still get this. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's listen to Momulojo. Stay with me. <clears throat> Thank you. 
알고 있었을까 널 향해 가는 내 마음을 널 보는 나의 눈빛을 어떻게 해야 할까 난 네가 자꾸만 궁금해져 더 가까워지고 싶은데 난 기다려요 너를 만나는 날내 눈에 가득 너를 담아 놓을 거야 조금 서툴러도 조금 어색하게 말을 건네도 내게 웃어줄래 그런 표정 그런 말투 그런 목소리로 나에게 다가와 주어 그런 너를 끌어안고 네 생각에 미칠 것 같은 나의 맘 전할래 이렇게 꼭내 곁에 음 알고 있던 걸까 처음 널 마주하는 이밤 떨리는 나의 눈빛을 커져가는 내 심장 소리 혹시라도 들킬까봐 난 괜히 목소리를 높여봐 기다려요 너를 만나는 날 다음번에 너의 긴 머리카락을 넘겨줄게 서툴러도 조금 어색하게 말을 건네도 내게 웃어줄래 그런 표정 그런 말투 그런 목소리로 나에게 다가와 주어 그런 너를 끌어안고 네 생각에 미칠 것 같은 나의 맘 전할래 이렇게 꼭내 곁에 이렇게 꼭내 품에 머물러줘 표정 그런 말투 그런 목소리로 나에게 다가와 주어 그런 너를 끌어안고 oh yeah. 네 생각에 미칠 것 같은 나의 맘 전할래 oh, 그런 표정 그런 말투 그런 목소리로 나의 이렇게 다가와 주어 그런 너를 끌어안고 네 생각에 미칠 것 같은 나의 맘 전할래 이렇게 꼭내 곁에 이렇게 꼭내 품에 머물러줘 didn't hear me because the mic was off but during that intermission i was like i literally said out loud Whoo! because i was like oh my god i can't take this that was amazing oh Great, my god you. i felt like i was at a music festival like outdoor music festival i was enjoying myself like enjoying green grass all around me that's what it felt like wind in my hair like whoo then you should come to my gig oh my gosh when is it I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> Please invite me if you have one. Um, I actually introduced this song um, like a few weeks ago, I think, here on Sound K, mm -hmm. because I have this segment where I recommend like the songs that I really love. And I played this song for my listeners. Wow. Um, so it's not their first time hearing a song by you. Um, but yes, I love this song. It's perfect for like the summertime, like spring, summer, just feeling like, you know, when you want to feel like you're at a mm -hmm. music festival or something. I feel like it'd be really great to listen to while you're on a drive, like with the sun shining on you, like windows rolled down. Um, 
So yeah, that was amazing. Eardrum boyfriend indeed. Oh, thank Let's you. Let's read some comments <laughs> uh, because I'm sure they really enjoyed it too. Yuno says, 고막 남친 인정합니다. 제 고막에 분양 받으세요. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tigger's ear says, no wonder Ash said eardrum boyfriend. His voice is so smooth, it could melt butter. Oh, butter. butter. Um, Angonda says, it sounds like MR, but it is not. He's very good at singing. Yeah, it's. I think she meant it sounds like AR, but it's not. Yeah, that was completely live. Evie says, oh my God, my eardrums are blessed. Oh, mm -hmm. you should go to hospital. <laughs> no, it's blessed. <laughs> Your drums are blessed. Oh, blessed. I, yes. I thought it was like lead. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Jazz says the vocals and instrumentals blend so nicely together. I'm loving this a lot. Very calm yet groovy, like standing on a roof looking at the skyline. Mm. Oh, wow. Fabulous Ivly says Yokshi. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> Evie also says, this song makes me want to run in a field of flowers. Yeah. Um, Patrick says, he looks like a college boy, but what a voice. College boy. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing. You, that means you still yeah. look young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they said, amazing, amazing. Um, yes, that was, that, that, that was amazing. Yes, indeed. Um, what genre would you say it's like is it city pop would you consider it city uh, pop yeah I, well i didn't really know about city pop when mm -hmm. i write when i wrote this song mm -hmm. but after all of a sudden like i released the song the city pops the fans getting bigger and bigger and yeah my yeah, songs yeah. um spread it mm -hmm. afterwards so um yeah I, you can't call it city pop but uh this song influenced a lot from like um 80s 90s music like oh. kim yeon cho Oh and yes, Sang, uh -huh. kind of the Cor the Korean musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. What kind of music did you want to pursue when you first started music? Um, actually, a rock kid. You were a rock kid. I was a oh. rock kid. Do you play and you play guitar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, do. uh huh, uh huh. So you wanted to be like rock and roll kind of guy. Um, like not like a, not like like leather jacket oh, yeah. <laughs> not like like streaks and heavy <laughs> no. eyeliner not like that but um yeah oh, like oasis and yeah 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 exactly. yeah, yeah oh okay so how did you um kind of uh i guess you were influenced by these korean artists for this song mm -hmm. but for your other songs um do you do you would you say they have a similar sound a similar sound mm -hmm. um uh well when I was young, like high school, mm -hmm. like I uh, always listened to like British music that I uh, said, like the favorite artist. How did you get into that though? Because I know living in Korea, mm -hmm. um, you don't really have much access to foreign music. I mean, you know what the popular songs at that time, mm -hmm. right? But um, I don't know, unless you're super interested in music, you don't really dive into like the past mm. music, I feel like. So what um, kind of led you to start searching and listening to different music? Uh, at first, I didn't really want, want to be like others. Mm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you can't call like Chungi Pyeong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, kind of typical... Um, when you're going through puberty and you're like, <laughs> I'm different. I'm not like others. Uh huh. Yeah, I was that kind of guy. Oh. Um, so I tried to dig some like all the kind of music. Like mm -hmm. I used to listen to Japanese rock and uh, others, others, others. And I just like when I heard of like the Beatles and Oasis, like mm -hmm. this is it. This oh. is what I want to do. So what age did you know that you wanted to pursue music? About. 17 17 18. high school yeah did your parents uh do anything arts related or uh, music related um no my dad selling meat sells meat <laughs> oh, yeah. uh -huh, sells uh -huh. meat. and my mom she was uh yeah she she was working in a restaurant at the time so how did they feel about you um doing music now now well they they can't like make it back <laughs> so, yeah they can't rewind time yeah, uh -huh. they can't rewind the time so like yeah do, do they, it <laughs> do they enjoy your music uh yeah like my dad um you know like the the tv show like mr trot oh yes kind of yes 
and he likes it a lot. My, uh-huh. my mom's like, like so into it. They love Im Young Ung. Oh, my mom, <laughs> yeah, especially my mom. Uh huh. Um, Dad, so uh, one day he he told me like. What about doing some kind of trouble? Oh my god, that's like every <laughs> parent these days of musicians are like, why don't you try trot? You know, because you become like the princess of all the elderly <laughs> elders because they just start loving you like so much. Oh, yeah. And how, what did you respond with? Um, well, I didn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, no way. Yeah, okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, trot is huge these days. Um, so, did you get any like lessons in high school because you wanted to do music? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like like others who wants to be a musician in yeah. Korea, mm-hmm. uh, they all wants to go to like um, 실용음악과. Yeah, and I was a kind of guy as well, but I tried once and I failed to get into. The, um the college like right after high school yeah uh-huh and i did like chaesu mm-hmm. um i got in but i didn't really really like the course the the curriculum there oh so, in korea yeah mm-hmm. so just like okay this is not my thing so i got out my from my, by myself about like about a month uh-huh. after and i did some like part-time jobs mm. and got some money and after that my friend like told me like what what about why don't we go to the england uh-huh for fun like just to visit yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then you went and then you fell in love with england and then you decided to go to school there mm-hmm. i mean it must have not been easy to get into a school in england for um music though so i mean what were the requirements for audition um they like the requirement is you need to be a songwriter like, oh. oh, like they don't care about what instrument you play uh-huh. or like whatever you do, you need to write songs. Mm-hmm. Mm. How did you learn to write songs? Uh, it was pretty natural that like oh. I self taught playing guitar uh-huh. and piano. And I wanted to, I wanted to write, write a song myself. Oh, so you just like tried it and like... yeah. Wow, that is impressive. Uh, we actually have a message for you or a question for mm-hmm. you from USA. Aaron N says, Hey, Nukdu, welcome to the studio. Do you find it difficult to perform in front of people as an introvert or communicating with fans? What would you say is your biggest goal and accomplish- accomplishments to date? Um, I think I have a different um, um, inkyok. Oh, like different like um, identities, yeah, kind different of. Different identity uh-huh. as uh, myself, Ji Won, mm-hmm. and Nokdu. Oh. So when I go to the front as Nokdu, mm-hmm. like I don't think any like I don't think like I I can be an introvert person wow. so because like I'm I'm a show guy, I'm a front guy, and people here they came here to watch me. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I I think I have different. Identity. Oh, identity. Yeah, yeah. Were you always <laughs> like that, or as um, time went, did you pro- slowly change? It slowly changed. Yeah. Oh. what about like I? Uh, I know in front of uh, I know when you're having like a concert or performance, you're not mm. shy at all to sing and perform. But what about like uh, you know in those between songs, you have to kind of talk, right? <laughs> talk for a little bit, like resting time. You know? Yeah. Do you find that difficult to talk to your fans? Because um, it's kind of like talking to yourself. Well. I rather not to talk mm-hmm. in between of my concert. So you just Sh- full on sing straight? Trying to. Oh, okay. Right? Because I'm not really good talker, speaker. Yeah. I feel like you're good. You're doing a great job right now. It's Nokdu identity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can use your Nokdu identity and just, um, yeah, charm all your listeners and fans that are there. Thank you. Because okay. you, you're, you make me feel talk smoothly here oh i'm glad (laughs) um and what about the last question what would you say is your biggest goal and accomplishment to date to date uh does it mean that i achieved or i want to achieve um yeah things that you achieved things you consider to be like great achievements um being here being here (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> that's the answer we want to hear <laughs> um but you also did on stage yeah um how was that because i know that's huge um uh on stage on stage on stage then mm-hmm. uh koi manen mo indin shinina mo hip hopina irango sangan opsi kengjangi manen artistitiri so go shipan and bude in de koki e aji shitakaja ima and then shitjomeso choyoru choter hejushigo ego koki e so si inning go manuro wa taka moga tengo gata ken kronki bundu troko yeah uh 그 영상 그렇게 촬영을 하고 영상이 올라오고 나서부터 굉장히 좋은 일들이 많이 또 생겼고 mm, That's great. I mean, um, just being invited and just being able to perform there because that's kind of like many indie artists' dreams mm. to be on that because they give you like a whole like basically concert. Mm. They film, they make you look good, they make you sound good. Do you have a band, full on band? And um, yeah, it's a lot of artists' dreams and just the fact that he got to do that very early on um, and it led to a lot of more opportunities for him after that too. Um, yeah, okay, it's already time to listen to the second live performance. <laughs> yeah, time is going by so quickly. Like there are so many things I'm curious about and so many questions we haven't even gone right. to, but whatever, okay. I mean, live comes first. So what's the second song you'll be singing for us? Um, called Lad. What a lad. Lad, in, it's a kind of scouse um, language. Yeah. As hey, lad. Per, hey, yeah. lad. You like hey, lad? Oh, lad. Lad. Yeah. You like lad? Yeah. It's like um, uh, it's similar as boy. Or like mate. Is yeah. it similar uh, to lad mate? is more like a boy. Oh, but yeah. lad is like boy. Yeah, young boy. So you only see it to boys. Um, well, it's kind of um, this lyrics is about. Um, writing a letter to myself. Oh, and so you're the Lord. I am the Lord here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go listen to it if you're ready. Yes. Okay. okay. This is Nukdu's second live performance for us today. It is Lad. Let's hear it. <laughs> Uri han go gaja ja sebyok tumuro chogi pya ri del su ike oh 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 Nambushine Chiambam 
우리 나라가 자저 태양 속으로 모두 다 태울 수 있게 우리 한 고가 자저 새벽 틈으로 저기 별이 될수 있게 oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's mm. a lot of pressure because it's like your first full length album, mm -hmm. and a lot of people um, kind of judge the artist mm -hmm. based on the full length album because it's, it's kind of like this is my identity. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I understand that it must be a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you have like a certain like date that you're aiming for for the release? About like in the winter, this winter. Oh, okay, okay, in the winter. All right, we'll be waiting patiently. <laughs> I mean, but you're still very active on um, YouTube channel, yeah. and also you uh, produced for other artists too. Like recently, you did for Ye Song of Super oh, yeah. Junior. Um, how did that come about? Uh. There is a producer called Jake K. Mm -hmm. He is a, a K-pop producer, mm -hmm. and one day he called me. Like, um, we we used to know each other, but like like ages ago, so we didn't really get um, get in touch with each other. Yeah. That well, but he just like Kakao talked uh -huh. me. Like, how about how are you to um, uh, um doing well? Something 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 mm -hmm. and. What are, what are you doing these days? Um, I was actually trying to get rest for a month, like uh, of music mm -hmm. at that time. You were, uh huh. Yeah. And yes, um, I want to make a song with you, mm. and this song will be for Ye Song. Uh huh. So, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. And we made a song. The three guys made a song. Uh huh. And the song picked by Ye Song. Oh wow. So that's how we got it. <laughs> it. Was it your first time writing for someone else? Uh, not the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the first song was uh, for a uh, web drama. Mm. The Wiki Miki, Yu Jung and Do Yan sang the song. Uh -huh. And this is a second song. Oh, cool. Uh, what was that song called? Uh, 어쩌다. Ochoda? You seem unsure. It's your song. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dude, I mean, Lod, it's your song, Lod. You don't know the title? Okay, okay, I understand. Um, and I saw your Rose's Gone cover acoustic oh. that you did on YouTube, and it was brilliant. Thank I you. really liked it. You guys should go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, he also did a cover of Peaches mm -hmm. recently. Um, and you did a cover of Mad Monster. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Mad Monster is a parody, is a K-pop parody that uh, these two comedians made. And it's like such a sensation right now. It's so funny because they used the overly gross beauty filters on their faces. And it's so funny, but they're so, they're like so nonchalant about it. They're like, yeah, this is me. Um, if you guys have a chance, check out Mad Monster. I don't know if um, you guys will find it funny, but <laughs> um, do you like Pisik there? I do. Mm. And Mas Mad Monster is the idol. <laughs> they are the idol. They're real. <laughs> oh, you, they are real to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you even did the filter for your, for your cover. <laughs> yeah. How did you do that? Oh, well, it was easy with the snow application. Oh, so you just downloaded the entire yeah. <laughs> video and put loaded onto snow and just made max yep. for all the beauty filters? That was actually the first time that I download, like, use snow. Yeah. The snow was never been to my iPhone ever. That is so <laughs> funny. Oh, my goodness. Um, what Do you have any other songs that you're thinking about covering? Uh, well, do... It, do you know Yonggugi Kunnan Hu? By who? It's very. Um, it's a classic it, song, right? Yeah, classic An older song. song. Uh huh. Yeah. You're gonna try to do that one. One day, but okay. It, that's a kind of like my my one of favorite songs. So oh. it's hard to um, touch and arrange oh, things. You're trying there. to do it well. Yeah. Oh. And uh, you're also in the same label as the Black Skirts. Mm -hmm. Do you get to see him often? Um, never since we're... You've never seen him? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because he's like so mysterious, yes. you know? And, yes. But you are in the same label as him and you've never seen him. Yeah, no, because of the pandemic, so... Oh, is he not in Korea right now? He's in Korea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just never comes to the company? <laughs> oh, man. So you guys haven't like worked on music together either? Um, not yet, but like when we think about like 
are we gonna have some synergy mm -hmm. to work work together? Then yeah. Some someday we'll give it a try. Yes, please. Mm. Okay. Um, Evie says I can't find the channel. Drop the channel name. You just have to search on Nokdu, right? Yeah, it's N O K D U. Yeah, N O K D U, and you guys will find a bunch of the covers and stuff there. Okay, well, Lord, lords, all the lords <laughs> listening, it is already time to say goodbye. Already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time has passed by so quickly. One hour is not enough. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, when you release your full-length album, you can come back into the studio. We'll Please have call. like a full-on concert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please invite me here. <laughs> we will, <again>. definitely. <laughs> okay, do you have anything you want to say to your fans? Um... Uh, 건강하세요. Be healthy, everyone. Yes, health 건, comes first. 건강이 최고입니다. Yes, guys. The last song for you guys will be by Nokdu, of course. It is called Wanna. And we're going to say goodbye here. This has been yours truly, DJ Ash. Shine on us. Thank you, Nokdu. Thank you. Bye.